That's about cookies. Yeah, and this is the last one, too. You mean you and your mother ate a whole batch of chocolate chip cookies by yourself? We sure did. Question? <laughs> yeah, I got a question. What? Did you enjoy them, baby? <laughs> yeah. Well, look, if that's the last one, then could you share it with me? You call that sharing? What's that? You don't want it. I'll eat it. I cannot believe that as generous as Daddy is to you, you wouldn't share your cookie with me. Do I not put a roof over your head? Huh? Do I not put clothes on your back? And food in your stomach? Yeah, I do, but I'll put you in jail. Yeah? Look at that. See, when you're stingy, it makes you crummy. <laughs> Hello, family. And do you see this smile on my face? Yes, son, and I find it disturbing. Well, you'll smile, too, when you hear what's coming on TV. The Godfather Marathon. You come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding and ask me a murder. <laughs> I can handle things. I'll smile. Not like everybody says. Not dumb, but I'll smile. And I want this back. You act like a man. <laughs> It's only the greatest movie ever made, Jay. Of course you love it, Michael. Men are the only ones in charge, and if someone makes you angry, you just have them whacked. Yeah. <laughs> See, but Jay, listen. See, women don't understand the layers to this movie. Yeah, on the outside, it appears to be just a bang-bang shoot -em up mm -hmm. But what it's really about is about corporate America and the complex relationships between family and business. Oh, really? Well, I just thought it was about the killer. Yeah, well, it's mostly about the killer. <laughs> you know, like when the sonny takes it at the toll booth. <laughs> Man, good times. Good stuff. <laughs> okay, son, I want you to count me in. All right, I'll be in my garage bedroom. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Kiss the ring. <laughs> See you later, Don Caglione. <laughs> I'm worried about Fredo. He licked my finger. <laughs> Check them out, Williams, right there on the table. What we got? Oh, uh, it's mostly garbage. Let's see. Uh, magazine subscription. Hey, refinance your home. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> jury duty. Whoa, magazine whoa. You what? can't throw out your jury duty notice. Yes, I did. Look, see right there. Michael, that's against the law. Not if you don't read it. I didn't open it. <laughs> that is really terrible. Jury duty is your constitutional responsibility. You should be setting an example for your children. You think? Yes, I do think. And that's what you would do if you was in my shoes? Of course I would. Hey, good, because you got one, too. You're going to answer these questions honestly, right, Michael? Jay, will you handle your business and let me do what I got to do to get out of this uh, debacle here? <laughs> if you lie, you know that's perjury, right? Jay, perjury is made up of two words. Purge. <laughs> to get out, and jury, which I'm trying to get out of. Just take this seriously, Michael. Okay, I'm being serious, look. I'm being very serious. Here's a serious face. Very nice. Shh, I'm trying to be serious. I have one more I'm trying to be serious in a very serious situation here, young lady. Phil, you... She's gonna get murder, she says. Murder! Juror number four. Yes, Your Honor. Sir, do you have any reason that you should be disqualified from serving on this jury? I absolutely do, Your Highness. What would that be, sir? Well, last night I slept with juror number six. What? I mean, five. five. <laughs> See, number five is Mrs. Four. She's my wife. So, obviously, we can't serve together, so I'll just be leaving. And if you see OJ, tell him Michael Jackson did the one glove thing first. <laughs> sit down. It is perfectly acceptable for spouses to serve on the same jury. As long as you don't talk about the case while you're at home. Oh, see? Well, that's a problem, Yana. See, she's very chatty, and we live together, and so, you know, how women are. <laughs> no. I don't know. Oh, they're very nice people. <laughs> and I, I would be happy to serve with a woman. Good. You're both accepted as jurors in the matter of the state versus Thompson. <laughs> serve on a jury, I'm glad it's with you. You want to know why? Because it's a hung jury. <laughs> no. It's because it's every woman's fantasy to be locked in a room with a husband and he has to listen to every word she says. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. And what are you hiding? What you got behind your back? Nothing. My spidey senses detect something. What is that? Look, a candy bar. Are you going to share with me? Sure. I Nice. Let's see. Maybe there's another area. Hey, 
Never mind. I don't want any. There you go. The facts have shown that the defendant is guilty of the crime of racketeering. Yep. He had motive, mm -hmm. opportunity, mm -hmm. and his fingerprints were on the computer. Hallelujah. I trust you will all see that justice is done. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you will now retire to the jury room, choose a foreman, and begin your deliberations. Okay, well, this is an open and shut case. It should be a cinch to get this verdict. Michael, we gotta take this seriously. I am taking it serious. It's like the DA said, the guy had opportunity, motive, plus his fingerprints on the computer. And if that's not enough, look at him. What about him? Jay, the guy looks guilty to me. You know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, guys, guys, let's just jump right in and elect a foreman. Well, how about you? Me? <laughs> Why, I'm flattered and honored. A little scared, yet determined to uphold the will of the people. Michael, can, can you just say yes and get on with it? <laughs> um, yeah, I promise to be a fair and just foreman. You, get your ass on my seat. <laughs> we can sit here and debate this thing till the cows come home, but we all know that the Godfather Marathon oh, begins tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Greatest movies ever made. <laughs> this is the business we've chosen. <laughs> we made him an offer he could have refused. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Hello, hello. Can we get on with this, guys? All right, all right, all right. Look, it's pretty clear what the situation is with this guy, okay? So let's just cut to the chase. And let me see a show of hands of guilty. Bam. Guilty, 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 guilty. Oh, I see we have one. Hold up. And your name is? Your wife. <laughs> Look, Michael. Um, Technically, the proper form of address would be, Mr. Foreman, I would like to have the floor. I mean, just technically, that's the way they do it. Uh, okay. Mr. Foreman, I would like the floor. Make it break number five. <laughs> Thank you. I think we're being a little hasty here. A man's freedom is on the line. He has a family. Yeah, he's got a family on the line. <laughs> uh, um, the, the foreman should be yelling at stand. <laughs> It just keeps order. I mean, technically. Thank you. Thanks, wife. I am trying to say we should at least talk about the facts, guys. Oh, boy. Here we go. Emotion over logic. Just like a woman. <laughs> I know you're not laughing. Don't be condescending towards me, Mr. Foreman. I'm not being condescending, number five. It's just number eight makes a lot of sense. I mean, you know, everybody else here agrees. You all agree just because you want to go home and watch the Godfather marathon. Greatest movies ever made. <laughs> Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. <laughs> point is, anyone with any bit of sense in their heads can see that this man is guilty. Hey! So now I don't have any sense. Don't put words in my mouth. And you better either deny. not. <laughs> you better either deny what I just said, Mr. Foreman, or you're gonna need four men to get my hands from around your neck. So bottom line is, you're not gonna vote guilty. No, I am not gonna vote guilty until we have had an in-depth discussion about this. And I don't care how long it takes. Oh, how long well, wasn't that a great day, huh? Followed by a really wonderful ride home. So, when do you think you start talking to me again? You belittled me in there, Michael. How'd I do that? By treating me like an inferior because I'm a woman with that whole emotion over logic crap. You know what? I would love to have further deliberations about this, but the judge said we shouldn't discuss the case at home. Yeah, but the my... judge said. I was the just. The judge said. My... Judge <laughs> said. <laughs> Not to talk about the case. Anymore. It's not about the case. I feel like you didn't have my back today. I didn't know you were offering it. <laughs> I am serious, Michael. I was following my conscience today. And you just threw me to the wolves. You and I are supposed to be a team united against a common enemy. We are. The kids. Not just the kids. We have to protect each other. And I don't feel like you did that today. You're right. What, 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 what was that? I said, you're right. Absolutely, 100% right, and I'm sorry. I shouldn't have treated you like that. You deserve better. Thank you, baby. I was a bad... Oh. <laughs> the foreman needs a spanking. Will you get out of here? <laughs> Actually, I gotta go down to the video store and rent the Godfather. Michael, I thought you were just gonna watch it on TV tonight. <laughs> Jay, I missed the first 15 minutes because of the lengthy discussions. You've seen The Godfather a million times. You know the beginning is only the wedding. 
just a wedding, she says. It's just a wedding. Hey, you want me to show up 15 minutes late to the Godfather's wedding? Well, you want to shmig in the mouth? Get out of here. There you go. Hey, you see, you really like those mafia movies, huh? Yeah, well, who wouldn't like the Godfather? <laughs> you know what I really find most appealing? Hmm. You know, the family code. You know, you take care of me, I take care of you. Right. Or the opposite. You don't take care of me, and I really take care of you. <laughs> Yeah, I think I I get what you're saying. As much as I like the Godfather, I'm really looking forward to seeing these babies tonight. To die for? Jury duty? To die for jury <laughs> Have you ever seen Heaven Can Wait? <laughs> is that your car out there? Yes, sir. That is a beauty. Thank you, sir. You know, it'd be a real shame if anything happened to that. How's your brains? <laughs> Working? The reason I ask is a big heavy car like that, if those brakes ever give way, you'd be dead. Yeah, I would. Well, life is unpredictable. At any moment, something catastrophic could strike any one of us. You got a family? Complete <laughs> a family out of this, please. You should think about your family. I do. At any moment. You could be six feet under. And then who's gonna take care of them? Oh, no. <laughs> Let me give you something. No, not here, not here. It's getting harder and harder to sell insurance these days. <laughs> Boss, what are you looking for? Pipe bombs, plastic explosives, booby traps, anything suspicious. No, don't answer that. We don't answer phones around here no more, okay? How are we supposed to do business? So, there won't be any business if we're not careful. Now, I don't want anybody in or out of this building, all right? Oh, man, come on. We just ordered pizza yeah. for lunch. Pizza? Are you crazy? Look, no more pizza, lasagna, cannolis. We only eat soul food around here. <laughs> are you in trouble, boss? Yeah, man, is there anything we can do to help? As a matter of fact, there is. I want you to put on a hat and a long coat. I want you to stand outside like you're packing heat. Just stand there. You, I want you to pick my kids up from school. And you, I want you to start my car before I leave here today. Don't worry. If anything happens, I'll take care of your family. Boss, calm down, okay? Now, tell us what happened. It has to do with this jury I'm on, okay? The trial is for a mob guy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, is right. And today, I get a visit from the family. His family came to see you? No, the mafia! <laughs> Come on, boss. Everybody knows there's no such thing as the mafia. That's a stereotype perpetrated on the public by the gay mafia in the entertainment industry. <laughs> Tell us what happened exactly. I'm in the video store. Big guy comes in and he tells me either I find the defendant innocent, otherwise I sleep with the fishes. Boss, don't take this the wrong way, but uh, you crazy. No, he's not. That's the way that whole family thing works. First, it starts with a warning, then the next thing you know, they're chopping you up, putting you in a blender, and serving you up like a smoothie. A chocolate smoothie. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Sometimes, they pry your mouth open, fill your body with cement, and dump you in the East River till you drown. <laughs> Sometimes, they dress you up in women's clothing and make you watch cabaret. No, oh, wait, that's the game on. <laughs> Hey, you scared me. No, I'm just sitting here waiting for Katie and playing some Godfather. I sure do love the Godfather. You've seen the Godfather? It's the greatest movie ever made. <laughs> Every time I try to get out, they pull me back. <laughs> That's how I feel about Katie. Okay, yeah, hey, hey. enough with that, Schroeder. <laughs> Wait a minute. Just a cotton picking minute. Why do you share with Franklin, but you won't share with me? May I speak for you? Sure. <laughs> Mr. Kyle, the reason why Katie doesn't share with you is because you tell her she has to. Uh-huh. 
You see, two shang is a gift from one open heart to another. Did you see the Michael Jackson special? <laughs> you can't dictate it. You just have to let it happen. Like this. Mr. Carl, would you like my piece of cake? Get out. <laughs> Take the cake and go, Liberace. Come on, come on. Don't come in here telling me how to run my family, buddy. Just give him time. <laughs> Just drive me into his arms, Daddy. Eight, nine, ten guilty votes. Number five, how do you vote? The same way I have from the beginning, I am still on the fence, yes, sir. Come on. Just look at the guy. He's guilty. You're the only holdout. Actually, she's not. Yes. See, I've been doing a lot of thinking about this, and I've learned a wonderful lesson from my beautiful wife here. See, a lot of times, us guys don't pay enough attention to our partners in this great journey we call life. It's easy for us to say, yeah, they're emotional, illogical creatures. But I ask you, is it wrong to be emotional when a man's freedom is on the line? Is it wrong when the proof of guilt is uncertain? That's right. Somewhere in this gathering storm, there has to be a voice of reason. And if we have to be that lone voice out in the wilderness crying out, stop the madness, the madness, the madness. <laughs> then so be it. So be it. So be it. Amen. Amen. If necessary, we will stand alone. Because friends, gentlemen, on this day, we cannot, no, we shall not, no, we shan't not, no. We will not let this great injustice occur. Right up. What are you, crazy? Why did you change your mind? Yesterday you were positive he was guilty. Okay, look, in all fairness to Michael, there is a reason. Yesterday Michael said that he was visited by the uh, mafia. Jay? It's okay, Michael. He thinks he was visited by the mafia and that they are going to kill him if he doesn't vote in. That was pillow talk, Jay. <laughs> Did the guy actually go, I know it was you, Fredo, in the back of the movie. You didn't see this guy. You should have saw that in the eyes. He was like an old school killer. Hey, look, it's the bailiff. Excuse me. According to section 398-756-29B stroke of the Connecticut Judicial Code, appertaining to the emendations of evidentiary proceedings, and in accordance with the results of Asensio versus Guadalupe, the Honorable Judge Gary Medina would like for you to suspend deliberations and see him in court. It's been a major development in the case. So the judge is ready for us? Yep. Okay. Hey. Hey. So what happened with the case? Uh, it was dismissed. It turns out the real perpetrator was arrested on a different charge and confessed to this crime in a plea bargain. <laughs> yeah, see, Dad knew that the guy was innocent all along. See, I was the one that was crying out for, for patience in the room. I said, you know what? If the glove don't fit, we must acquit. If the shoe's too tight, we send him home tonight. If the man ain't wrong, you got to send him along. Michael. If I don't shut up, you gonna throw up? Yeah. So if the guy didn't do it, you weren't really threatened by the mafia. <laughs> Come on, I never believed in that. I was just playing a role. See... I had to get into the mind of a juror as the foreman. The foreman's job is to really analyze things from a... <laughs> the trial is for a mob guy. Uh-oh. Yep, uh-oh is right. Okay? Uh-oh is right. Okay? Uh-oh is right. If the blimp don't fit, we gotta quit. You know, if, 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 if it ain't right, we can't convict them tonight. And if the thing ain't real, we gotta go back and do it all. So, why you haven't called me? 